G'day and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms for another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to use the belt system or the conveyor belt system in Farming Simulator 22. Now why would you want to use the belt system? Well there's a couple of reasons. You may want to put loose product like sugar beet or potatoes into the bulk hole so they're not stored on the ground like they are over there. In real life potatoes and sugar beets get dumped until it's time for them to get picked up and then they get picked up off the ground and taken to where they need to go. Not everybody likes to do that and the bulk hole is I don't want to say the most realistic option but it is definitely an option. In Farming Simulator 19, Giants were kind enough to give us the a different version of the bulk haul. It was a root crop storage haul, and it held half a million liters of um, potatoes and sugar beet. And it had its own loading and unloading system, where we needed the belt system in Farming Simulator 19 um, not so much in multiplayer, but more so in single player, was for unloading things like silage pits or manure pits, um, where you could put the belt in place, and I'll show you how to do that soon, so you could have a vehicle loading while you were off either delivering the silage or spreading the manure. By the time you came back, the other manure spreader was full, swap places and away you go. You just kept, kept the cycle going. It was like having a helper to fill your trailer. Well, we don't have that root storage hall anymore in Farming Simulator 22 for some reason. They, and let's take a look. Let's look at silos. Where's the manure pit? There's the manure pit. If you look at the manure pit, they put a nice little load and unload icon on it. So you can just drive up to it and load and unload. You don't need a belt system. You don't need a front end loader with a silage fork or a bucket on the front of it. You can just load the trailer straight away. Kind of like you could in the old root storage system. So I'm trying to figure out why they can put it on the manure system, but they can't put it on the bulk haul. The problem with the bulk haul is, with a tipper, you can only load so high. Now I'm using this tipper because it is one of the few ones there are a couple of others but that has a sliding floor meaning it will slide the product out the back as opposed to actually tipping all the way up which is perfect here because you don't want to hit the roof and i already hit the roof when i did my test run so to change to sliding floor press the u key see tip slide back grain door or sliding floor so we're going to unload using the sliding floor. If you've never unloaded into either a silage pit or into a hole like this or even onto the ground, what you have to do is you can't press I because obviously nothing's happening. You have to press control I to force unload the vehicle. I'm trying to get a good camera angle here and it's going to be hard. It stopped unloading because it ran out of space. It will only unload to a certain height when using the regular unload function. That's where you would want to come along And 
and you would have to use your front end loader to pile it up. Unless you can get nice and smooth and dry back up, sometimes you get lucky like that, and it will let you do that. But for the most part, the wheels are going to slip. So that's one of the reasons you would want to use the belt system. I have this trailer half full of potatoes here. I'm going to demonstrate using this. Now I should have used the other trailer. Be careful. This is why I said in my other videos, be careful what mods you use. I downloaded this mod. I didn't realize the doors flap open. And you'll see what I mean in a minute when I back up close enough. I don't want to get too close or else it's going to watch this. See, doors flap open. And then it will start unloading on the ground. And away goes the belt because I've already turned it on. Now you have to do the same thing with the belt. And I'll show you in a minute. You have to turn the belts on and off. And I'll show you when we load the next load of potatoes. In the meantime, that's just going to keep loading and piling up. See how high it goes? It's going to pile up to there. We will have to move it eventually, but it's going to make a nice big pile. And that'll allow us to get more crops into the ball core. Like I said, you can use a front loader because we're dealing with potatoes and not silage. The buck rake, this will hold 8,000 liters of silage. Chaff, hay, or straw. It will not handle potatoes or any other bulk product like that. You need the high tip bucket for that. And that only holds 4,000 liters. So it's going to take a little bit of time and effort to fill your trailer. Not saying this way is any quicker, but like I said, it does allow you to do other things while the trailer is filling if you're in the middle of harvest. Okay. These are obviously purchased from the store. Under belt systems. At an absolute minimum, you need this one, which is the Lizard S10, and you need the, need the Grimmy SL8022 Quantum. None of them come with really any options. It's what you see is what you get. We'll go over this one later because it's kind of neat, and so is this one. <coughs> this you can bring from the store behind your pickup truck this one for some reason you need a tractor or other equipped vehicle with a drawbar to tow it once you I parked it here with my pickup press E to get in and you have to start the engine just like everything else in the game unless you've got auto, auto start engaged but it's a bit of a pain um, to have auto start engaged when you're dealing with these so put that first one in place that's I'm just gonna move this one a little bit closer so I, they're a pain in the ass to maneuver so that's why I want to get it as close as possible with the tractor. And again, you have to start the engine. And steering is counter to intuitive in this way. If you because you're kind of backing up, but you're going forward. It's it's the opposite of driving normally. You'll get the trick of it. So once you're 
once you're close enough and you're hooked up, press the Q to attach the two devices. And then you can use your mouse or whatever controller you have to raise and lower the main belt system. Your right mouse button, or it'll say on your controller what you need to do to um, extend the arm. Okay. Once you're hooked up and you're ready to go, press B, and you'll see it starts loading the conveyor belt. And it'll stop when it's ready. And I missed that by a long shot. No, I thought I did. Not too bad. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. And it will continue to load our trailer of potatoes until the trailer is full or until the rest of the potatoes are out of reach and I'll show you what to do when that happens in the meantime let's check and see how our lo loading is going of potatoes over here okay something has stopped Oh, it doesn't like it because I was too far away. Um, well, let's just give it a second. Now, this one is kind of neat. Because it's a potato palette. It is found here. It is the RH2460. And I just dumped a bucket load of potatoes into it while I'm waiting for the trailer to fill up. And as you can see, it has created a pallet of potatoes. Don't know why you would want a pallet of potatoes. when you can just fill a trailer and sell the trailer and they're not very big there's a th they're only a thousand liters so the same size as the regular pallets so that is the potato pallet it will do sugar beets as well um I guess for role-playing purposes it's kind of good because it will <coughs> allow you to pretend to fill pallets, potatoes, and go into the grocery store in bulk, kind of like you see in some grocery stores. There we go. It stopped because our trailer is full. Now what I'm going to do is show you quickly here how to move. So you just move backwards to get closer to the potato pile even though we don't need to at this point but had we been out of range of the potato pile we would have needed to move remember E to get in and E to get out just like any other vehicle and if it's turned itself off look at the menu ours hadn't it stopped because the trailer was full And then you just take your potatoes from your field to over wherever they were and you bring them back to see it picked up all the potatoes I think I'm gonna have to start it again because you can only go a certain distance but oh no it didn't turn itself off this time
But anyway, that's gonna keep, see, this is about as high as you can go with a dump out of a trailer. Whereas that's quite a bit higher. We'll give it a second and see how high it goes. All right, this is the Meridian Silo. As I said, it holds a million liters and it is relatively cheap compared to other silos. It is 72,000 for almost a million liters versus this one, which is 117,000, which is the one that comes standard with a farm, which only holds 400,000 liters. This one's a little bit trickier because you've got to get the um, the auger and this is what farmers do in real life if you've watched um, Welka Farms I believe this is the exact conveyor belt that they use but you maneuver it with the ASW keys just like you would the other augers and you got to make sure you get over the top of that you want to zoom out a little bit make sure you get over the top now I don't believe you can drive over it otherwise that's gonna create a problem and getting back in is a little bit tricky I can't find I keep pressing E. Like I said, Giants has a habit of, much as I love the game, they have a habit of complicating everything. But what you're supposed to be able to do is drive this trailer forward. See, three times the work I would have already done on the other silo. I don't think it extends outwards. It's turned on, okay. Uh, let's try getting in that truck. Like I said, I haven't used this one. I read it was a pain in the eyes and it's proving me right. Anyway, in theory, that's how it works. I'm going to cheat. Okay, that's right over. There we go. And then you just press I to unload. And we can see at the top it is filling up. Oh, we're a little over. Doesn't matter. It's working. And you just move forward and there we go unloading the next hopper now I know the range in the distance I would roughly know how far to come in and bark now you gotta get out and you gotta find the
There we go. So it's right by the engine is where the enter and end load or enter and exit point is. I'm sorry, I'm frustrated. And then you just use your mouse button to move that back out of the way. See, now I know what I'm doing. I came at it at a different angle and it works a little bit better. And then you are done with harvest. I want to see whether it works with the other truck too. I don't want to get, I want to get in my truck. Ugh, the game frustrates me sometimes. And I just wanted to test whether it would work with a regular tipper type hopper or not. And it does. I should have timed that to see because with that other silo might not be as high capacity but the trailer would be empty by now. So that's how it works. It adds a touch of realism to the game. I mean I guess there are so many things you can do with limited controls compared to what you have in real life. All right, and this little beauty to the right, the red one, is what you are, or you can, use to unload it in the game. You just do the same thing, you hop in, and you slide it right under the red unloading auger, where the silo sweep goes, and then you put your track the trailer under the snout and it will unload now I haven't seen anyone else do this in the video so I wanted to make in any uh, pictures or I haven't seen anyone else do this but obviously it works and you can save a little bit of money we want wheat start and it will load us with wheat so you can either use by both augers or you can make do with the big conveyor um, in real life I'm surprised they didn't get the Meridian one but I do like the animation in real life this is what most farmers use is something like this one and it is lengthwise it's about the same length auger wise as this stretching up there so that it can either be used for exactly what i'm doing with this one which is to load or unload the silo i'm sure somebody will modify one of these and make it capable of doing the dual roll. But both will work. And wow, is that trailer full already? Yep, that was a hell of a lot quicker than the uh, friggin' belts were. Anyway, that is our introduction to the belt system. If you have any questions on how the belt system works, oh, Yes, one more thing. I was going to mention the this one. This one is basically a go-between. Between this and this. You put this in position like you would. And then you line the long one up. And then once you've got the long one attached, just like you'd have to attach this one, 
Uh, the other end is where you attach this one. All right, my silage is not fermented yet, so I can't actually demonstrate, but this is how it would work. You would have your end piece that will take it out of the silo. It'll put it onto this belt, which is the extension, which will drop it onto this belt, which you can raise and lower. And since this is a cell point right here, I believe, am I close enough? Yep. It will... theoretically unload. If you press X... It'll fold your wheels and you can maneuver left and right. Lower and extend. Press X again to unfold your wheels and lock them in place. And Bob's your uncle. If we had silage, it would be pouring into the BGA by now. Like I said, it's not the best system. It's very fiddly and finicky. It's why I do all my silage with bales instead of in a silage pit. Because the amount of time I spend hauling bales, not bales, hauling grass or chaff from the field to the pit, leveling the pit, compacting the pit, and then either using a front end loader with a buck rake, which has a limited capacity of 8,000 liters, a bale of silage is 7,500. So 500 less. So you're still handling physically with a track to the same amount of volume. But you don't have to fiddle around like this. Give me one second and I'll show you. All right, so this is what I use is I use the Anderson round bale collector, which is found in the store under I'm not going to find it now. Bale loaders. It's 50,000. So, it's the, I mean, you can load them onto a flatbed trailer if you want to. I just find this easiest. You just drive up and you pick up your bales. The trailer will hold 24 bales at 7,500 liters per bale. That's 180,000 liters of silage, which you are hauling in one go. The biggest trailer will hold 59,000. So you are saving one, two, three, at least three trips by doing it this way. And you don't even need a massive tractor to pull it. Once, and I'm going to save on driving time, once the trailer is full, we go to the BGA. Drive up the ramp here. Back onto the loading spot here. Unload. And the bales will, I mean, my, if we look right now at my productions, My silage pit is full, and as it gradually empties, it will keep taking from these bales and filling the, the uh, BGA, which means I don't need to do anything till tomorrow. I don't need to sit around with a front end loader waiting for room to be able to dump stuff in. I just make one delivery a day and away I go. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to give it a like, share if you want to, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.